Welcome to Session 6 of the Excel 2013 Essential Skills video course. Often you'll find that a worksheet is getting overcomplicated and difficult to work with. This session will give you the skills needed to quickly break one very complex worksheet into many smaller and easier to manage worksheets. This three minute preview is designed to enable you to quickly review all of the skills you're going to master in session six. If you already have some Excel experience, this three minute preview may enable you to skip over some or all of the lessons in this session. So let's start the clock ticking and begin the preview. In the first lesson, you're going to open two instances of the same workbook. When only two instances are open, you're able to use the Arrange Windows dialog to put them both on screen at the same time. And then you're able to view different areas of the same workbook. In the second lesson, you'll do almost the same thing in a slightly more complex way. When you have multiple workbooks open, you can choose two of them to compare side by side. And when you compare workbooks side by side, you can use some interesting features with them, such as synchronous scrolling. In the third lesson, you'll duplicate worksheets within a workbook. You'll begin with this workbook that has all sales for the first quarter of 2008 in one worksheet, and then you'll copy that worksheet into a January, February and March worksheet, each showing the sales for just one month. In the fourth lesson, you'll move and copy worksheets from one workbook into another. In the fifth lesson, you'll hide and unhide worksheets. You'll work with this workbook. And you want to hide the first quarter 2008 worksheet and the bonus worksheet. And that's exactly what you'll do in this lesson. In the sixth lesson, you'll create cross worksheet formulas. You'll take this worksheet, where we have a January, February and March worksheet, and then summarize the total sales on the summary worksheet. And to do that, you'll use a special sort of formula called a cross worksheet formula. In the seventh lesson, you'll understand worksheet groups. Three dimensional groups of worksheets are a very little known Excel feature. You'll take this workbook where there are three worksheets that have a similar structure and then format one of them and then group the worksheets into a three dimensional group. When you format one of the worksheets, the formatting is then inherited by all of the worksheets. And in the eighth lesson, you'll use find and replace. First of all, simple find and replace, where we're going to replace the text Devolio with O'Reilly throughout every worksheet in a workbook. And then a slightly more interesting find and replace, where you'll search for every instance of Boston crab meat and change the formatting in every cell where that text is found. Then you'll move on to finding and replacing values, even when there's a formula behind the cell containing the value. And finally, you'll use wildcards, such as the asterisk wildcard and the question mark wildcard. And as with all sessions, at the end of the session, there's an exercise to test your understanding of the new skills learned. And you're now ready to begin session six working with multiple worksheets and workbooks.